occupation authorities started uh, serious sanctions and illegal blockade regulations since mid-June 2006, especially after the famous uh, kidnapping of Gilad Chalit. But after Hamas movement took over the, uh, the Gaza Strip in mid-June 2007, an additional sanctions been imposed by the Israeli occupation authorities. And that was targeted all the population of the Gaza Strip, 1.7 million people being affected very hard and their livelihood conditions being affected even they being not access to the basic needs uh, like uh, food, medic uh, medications and all basic needs for their uh, daily life and of course that's affected even the all economic sectors uh, Gaza Strip for example uh, the economy is based on uh, agriculture and small business and during the previous year within two huge military offensives uh, all the factors and the main uh, columns of the Gaza economy was totally destroyed from one hand 90 percent of the industrial workshops factories small businesses and companies were totally destroyed and even the ability to rebuild such uh, institutions and uh, economic facilities became more difficult and more uh, affected for the, 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 the economy because of the, the, the total uh, cost of rebuilding or repairing such facilities like this. On the other hand, you have the agricultural sector which is totally destroyed throughout a massive uprooting of thousands and tens of thousands of uh, trees and agricultural uh, resources like uh, the fields and uh, even the water resources. Gaza Strip has a uh, welfare of uh, and quality of, uh, items of vegetables and fruits which used to be uh, exported to the West Bank and even the, the, the economic relations between the West Bank and Gaza Strip was very important as part of the, the unity of the whole Palestinian economy. But within the, the, the blockade, it became very, very affected. Gaza port was one of the main economic resources and uh, one of the main transportation channels for uh, connecting Gaza with, uh, uh, with abroad. And that could be used for uh, import and export. Just to, to, to know only the imports from one of the main uh, crossing, uh, I mean the, the main trade crossing, which used to be Carney crossing, which is now totally destroyed by the Israeli forces and totally closed, 570 truckloads used to enter through this terminal to the strip, which is one of the well uh, and the best trade uh, areas in the, in the region. And almost 100 to 150 truckloads used to be exported per day. Mm -hmm. Now, what I can say, during one year, we, we didn't export more than a week time because the, the annual export during 2012 been less than 2% of the annual export in 2006 and 2007.
before the, the, this blockade. Again, uh, Shalom crossing is less than 400 truckloads for the imports and even less than 50 truckloads for the exports. They got beneficiaries when they added or closed such t crossings and pushed all the Palestinian trade at the corner of Kerem Shalom crossing, which is not capable and not uh, suitable for the capacity of trade for a population of 1.7 million people. And the Palestinians are suffering that they are paying more and more, especially the fees of transport and using of the Israeli ports as well. Sometimes it's abnormal to have the cost of transportation from China to Gaza is cheaper than uh, transportation from Ashdod port in Israel to Gaza. After the 2008-2009 the military offensive, the cast lead military operation, over than 16,000 houses been totally destroyed or partially destroyed. Reconstruct Gaza Strip was a mission impossible during that time because Israelis decided to prevent totally all construction materials from entering Gaza. So Gaza spent like more than two years. They never ever had one sack of cement. And after the international pressure, Israelis allow very limited supplies of construction materials. Of course, the Palestinians became more creative and they started dealing with smuggling through the Egyptian-Palestinian border and they started using the Egyptian construction materials. It, it was one of the main real crisis in the Strip, I mean housing crisis, uh, with the growth ra rates uh, of the population and with the, with the massive destruction and to face the normal growth of population of the Gaza, you need at least 70,000 house units annually. And Palestinian people declared so many times that they refused totally to have this mentality and this point of view that Palestinian cause as a humanitarian cause. No, it's totally political and uh, international community should accept its uh, obligations under the international law. This is the occupation and we are convincing international community to leave this status of conspiracy of silence, to punish Israel. Palestinian people are blaming international community and that's totally shame on the international community. If international humanitarian law saying that such blockade sanctions are totally forbidden according to the international law. Why you are not proceeding on legal framework? We are as a consumer society for the production of Israel, all the business of Israel. They want Gaza to be totally, and not only Gaza economy, but all Palestinian economy to be dependent to the Israeli economy. And Israel denying access to development and development, economic development under occupation is a mission impossible.